Hello everybody. So now actually we can see how we can make use of the Google Forms. For this actually I am giving forms.google in the search window. So now you can find uh, it is opening up a new form. So I have to choose a account through which I can design a form. So this is my Gmail ID. So and uh, so I am giving here the username and password. So if you give in this way, it would open a new window with the forms. So let us see how it is. So not, now it has got opened. This is the form window. So here we can give the name for the form window. So I am giving it as quiz. Quiz 1. So now that is the name here. It has even copied here. So this is the title. So this is the title option. So if you want to give any title you can give. Previously it is as quiz 1. So, if I want to give uh, some other title also, then I could uh, change here. So, I am now changing it to introduction to C. So, if I am going to make some questions over C language, then I can give it as introduction to C. So, now actually you can give any description for the form. So, here we can give it as... Um, yeah, uh, objective type answers. So I am giving it as objective type questions. And then each question carries one mark. So likewise if you want to give any information you can give that. So this is the default window. I am just going to say what are all the things that were available here. So in this window we are having the plus that is the add question. And then you are having the option to import questions. And then we are having the option to add title and description. If your questioner is moving to more than one page. Then in between the pages also you can add the title and description. And then images. So wherever you want, you can include the images. And then add video. And then this is the uh, adding the sections option. Suppose if you want to cut down it, uh, the questioner. And if you want to start it in a new page. Then you can make use of this add section option. So this option is the customized theme. Uh, so here by means of this we can change the uh, background like things could be changed there. So we can include header like things could also be done in this customized theme. And then preview. So if you want to look at the preview of this then we can select this option. And then we are having the settings option. So these were all the various options that were available in the forms window.